Greetings, mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun. Quite tired, so apologies if I slur, and welcome to Natural Instincts. Which is on the Who's That Indie series. I'm doing it wrong way round, again I'm tired. Natural Instincts is on Kickstarter right now. They sent over an advanced preview code. And as far as I can tell, for my brief couple of minutes of playing, uh, it's interesting. Now we're going to go in as we've been blind, see there's like loads of different areas, but yeah, you don't play one set of animals, you play all the animals. So you're trying to keep the ecosystem alive while being hands on. So there isn't too much in the game right now. Hopefully there'll be more obviously as in the Kickstarter, but I'll show you what currently exists, what you can currently do, and then we'll have a discussion while doing it. That's the whole point of the Who's That Indie First Impression series. Welcome to Nord Point Three Point One Five Point. But yeah, I was not expecting to find this in my inbox today because I didn't even know it existed. But here we are. European forests, a land inhabited by plenty of fascinating species that form together a perfectly balanced ecosystem. Our journey begins in one of those forests. However, to be able to fully experience the richness of these woods, we must learn how to move around them. I skipped this tutorial. Okay. Welcome to the tutorial. So obviously this is all work in progress. I'd be surprised if this still looks like this in the end content, because this is a bit meh. Let's start by learning how to move the camera. To do so, press W, A, S, D, or arrows on your keyboard. You can also drag the mouse along the edge of the screen. Okay, I have done to that. To rotate the camera, hold the middle mouse button. You can zoom the camera out and then zoom it back in using scroll. It looks actually all right, to be honest. Once you know how to control the camera, your first task is to look around the map and find the rabbit. This fluffy animal is certainly gambling somewhere in the grass. So let's go ignore that for a second. So you controlled, yeah, as you sort of like, they're planning on doing different biomes and things. But this is the extent, like I'm on the edge of the map right now, moving around. And you control every critter within this zone. Now it obviously expands a little bit. And there is a road. This is modern times. And I'll be honest, it gets a little preachy. It does get a little preachy, but let's go in. So my rabbit is... Uh... There. There he is. To select a group of animals, hold the left mouse button and drag the rectangle over as many of them as you want to select. Sometimes it will be necessary to select all animals visible on the screen quickly. When an animal is selected, you get access to its statistics panel. Rabbits. There you can check the number of selected animals. Now you know where to look for information about animals. Try to find a hungry rabbit on the map. Those little creatures feed on many distinct plants, such as young bushes, saplings, or berries. Uh -huh. However, one of their favorite food is clover, which they can find plenty of in the local green fields. As you can see, every single animal has a fullness bar, a hydration bar, an energy bar, and a mating bar. So you to eat, sleep, uh, drink, and also mate. But yeah, like I say, you can be controlling like rabbits, maybe even the wolves that eat them, stuff like that. And you can have direct control. Now that they sure. are fed, rabbits can do something else. It's high time to search for a source of water. Fortunately, there are many ponds and streams available nearby. So yeah, you have direct control over them at any time you Some like. Some of these animals are thirsty. And um, yeah, you can directly control them at any one time, otherwise they'll do their own thing. This animal is thirsty. As you can see. So right now, of course, I care a lot about the animals because I have four rabbits. I don't know how big it's going to grow because I don't know if I'll care about, say, a rabbit when I have a hundred of them. But yeah, like the other three, I just moved along with it. They don't really need to be here. As you can see, that one's already wandered off on its own. I'm not doing anything with that one. You can see what actions they've got. So this one's obviously doing that. And you can see their genetics. 
as you can see. So you can see how long they live, how fast they are, how quickly they get hungry, and how fertile they are. So, yes, it's actually important to breed the right animals. Because obviously you want to have the best line for those critters by the end of it. Have you finished drinking it? But yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how the basic much needs of the game those happens. magnificent creatures are satisfied, we can observe the start of their mating ritual. As the male approaches the female, they start performing a sort of dance where the female fights off the male until he proves to be the worthy partner. The animal is not ready for reproduction. Is it not? That one is, and that one is. Okay, so the, blue, so the two blue ones are going to mate. So you can click on them and they're mating ready, and obviously they'll mate. Which, of course, right now they're doing in their mating. Rabbit festivities to end. Oh, there they go. Look at that. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh, censored. Censored with a rabbit. After mating, the rabbits have to go to their shelter. Unfortunately, they don't have one yet. Go ahead and assign them a burrow in which they can hide and rest. So we're going to assign all these rabbits to this burrow here. This will be their house. So we've got food they like to eat, a burrow they can sleep in, and a big water supply across a road. When the European rabbit is not feeding or mating, they prefer to spend their time underground. They stay in deep burrows made out of a series of tunnels reaching a couple of meters in depth. There, they spend most of their time hidden away from predators and unwanted guests. This is where our rabbits are now. They went underground to find a safe and cozy place to give birth. Huh. Looks like another species has arrived in the forest. Wild boars have entered the area searching for food and shelter. It seems that they will need some help. All right. Wild boars are omnivorous. Although they don't hunt, they sometimes eat carrion. However, they huh. feed mainly on what they find in the undergrowth or by etching in the ground. It includes acorns, earthworms, rhizomes of plants, mushrooms, insects, and rodents, whose barrows they can find thanks to their sensitive sense of smell. Okay. The amount of food in a given area is limited, and it is not always enough for all animals. So as it is now, there is no more food for boars on this side of the road. They have to get across the street. I see. So I couldn't click on the... Um, as the human the, uh, influence on the animal kingdom grows, the animals are facing more dangers than ever before. Not only do they have to run away from the predators, but they also have to avoid humans whose actions are constantly threatening their lives. Oh, so avoid, save the boar from the car. Now, Just one of the as they have already with. crossed the road and finished eating, wild boars need some rest. To this end, they go to their nest, which are usually covered with litter, dry grass, or branches. So yeah, these ones I can't select their young, so they just follow the mother about. So maybe the rabbits will do the same. Of course, you don't have any rabbit young. They are... Well, there's a lake somewhere. All right, we're going to go have these guys sleep in this nest over here. But yeah. I'm curious, because I'm kind of curious to see how you actually try Predators and Predators are an inherent part of the proper ecosystem and their presence helps regulate the number of other animals. Hmm. A wolf, known for its hunting skills, has arrived in the forest in the search for prey. However, he can't hunt a nearby boar pack alone. He must look for a smaller animal to hunt. Yes, I'm kind of curious about this. Fortunately, rabbits are playing on the other side of the road. This is an excellent target for a hungry predator. The only thing that divides the wolf and its meal is a dangerous road. After crossing the road, the wolf spotted a herd of rabbits nearby. Known for their excellent hearing and speed of movement, rabbits are a challenge for the untrained hunter. However, this particular wolf knows well how to approach and attack his unsuspecting target. Is a load of rabbits called a herd? I don't think a load of rabbits is called a herd. I don't think you find a herd of rabbits. 
But yeah, I'm kind of curious about this, because right now I've controlled boars, and a wolf, and rabbits. Like, trying to keep that ecosystem alive will be interesting, because obviously if the wolves die, nothing stops the rabbits from eating everything. But we've already seen with the boars, they had to cross the road to find new food. So if the wolves aren't eating the rabbits, will the rabbits eat all the food? Like, I'm, trying to, I'm kind of curious to see how in-depth this goes. Because obviously right now, if this is all there is to it, there isn't really much of a game, it's more of a tech demo. And it could very well just be a tech demo, there's not really much else to do apart from showing core concepts. But, we'll have to see. Oh, there goes a the rabbit. And there we go. I ate the rabbit. Which I think was one of the four rabbits I started the with. The animal world is governed by the laws of nature, even if sometimes they may seem brutal to us. Unfortunately, for this particular rabbit, life has ended its course. But for others, it just starts going on. Look, a bunch of small defenseless bunnies has just appeared next to the rabbit hole. Charming. Huh. However, where new life begins, instructions end. Now you know how to take care of the forest and its fauna all by yourself. Good luck then. And its fauna? What? You told me nothing about, um, food. You said I could eat it. Okay. Find very thirsty rabbits and suggest them water. Wait, how many rabbits have I got now? Oh! Oh, that's a few, that's a few more rabbits. Okay, that's a wolf. Which is thirsty and hungry. Okay, the rabbits go inside the nest to hide. The European rabbit prefers open spaces where it has the highest visibility and can quickly detect a threat. Okay, let's have this lot all live in the here. The animals oh. are not hungry. Okay, let's have that team live over there. Okay, so the rabbits have a lot of food in the field. I have suddenly have a lot of rabbits, which I keep the numbers down with a wolf. Now, I imagine the bunnies will also do their own thing anyway. That's a second wolf. Okay, we're going to have both the wolves go over there and make a nest. That's a third wolf. Okay. Okay. What do I do? And how do I do it? What's that? That's a deer. You know, rabbits bloody everywhere. So here's a question. Can I depopulate the world. If I let if I let all of the rabbits eat all the food and have all the wolves starve to death, will more animals appear or will I have killed off the forest? Let's have you go to there, actually, near that little road. And you also go over there. That way it's near food and also water. Find very thirsty rabbits and suggest them water. Okay, you need water. You are okay. Is it really very thirsty? And the problem is, of course, there's also lots and lots of wolves. Which are nesting over here somewhere. There's one over here having a hunt. Uh, hunt that one down for food. This animal is thirsty. And that's the thing, right now... I think this is mostly it. Balancing. I don't have too many skills or abilities to me. I'm just here looking at the animals and so on. So it is more of a tech demo than it is, you know, anything else. Okay, yes, yeah, so it's more of a tech demo. Okay. 
Uh, go for food. Wolf, don't eat anyone. Yeah, okay, the European panicking. rabbits are extremely social animals, and thus they live in huge communities. How huge is huge? So yeah, I'm curious to see where this goes. Obviously, not quite sure what I have to show. User numbers could be between no, animals of the same species. Huh. Okay, wolves. This animal boars, is hungry and thirsty. Rabbits, stags. Okay, there's only four animals. I don't know if they plan to do more. So I have four animals. I have three herbivores and a wolf. Now, there's already 18 rabbits in your forest. That's way too many rabbits. Okay, that wolf just has a rabbit. So how do I balance An animal this? has died. Yeah, a lot of animals have died. Like, of hunger, of thirst, of old age. So right now, there isn't really useful help. Like, every an animal has died. It looks like a wolf. Maybe a boar, who knows? Like, if I have to individually find all the animals and tell them what to do, that will be a massive amount of micromanagement. But we have seen there this are... This animal is thirsty. We have seen there are a lot of animals wandering around doing their own thing. Although, I don't know what this one was doing. It's just wandering off into the wild? So I can't really tell you how good the AI is right now. Because that one's hungry and thirsty, yet it was literally leaving the map. This animal is very thirsty. Yeah, I know. I keep telling it to go over here and drink it. It won't. So I am kind of curious about, you know, what I can and cannot do. This animal is very thirsty. Yeah, I know. I keep clicking on the water. It keeps doing something else. So yeah, the AI is definitely not there right now. This hmm. animal is hungry. Yeah, well, we need to drink first. Okay, you're getting mating ready. Your wolf, go away. You're a rabbit, go and drink. Do I get like a skill if I get three or uh, six rabbits to drink? I think I need all the rabbits just to feed all the wolves, unless, you know, I haven't hunt a pack down. What's that? A sow. Go eat. That sow's ready to mate. So the maps. Wait, what? Which animal do you want to choose? Do I get to choose? Oh, two different species. Looks like they're just spawning in from the edge. Yeah, they are. They're just coming in from the edge. I can't go over here. Yeah, animals keep coming in, so... Maybe it doesn't matter if I let them all An live or die? Has died. Hard to say. So there isn't much to do right now. It is more of a tech demo than anything else. I wouldn't say the AI is currently there. Like, watching things are hungry and thirsty run away from water when there's no wolves in between them. Suspicious. Power of clicks a rabbit? Where? I 
My metabolism is terrible. Okay, this one's much better. Mysterious disease. Oh, never mind. Why are my rabbits diseased? How about my walls? What? Long living. Good, so I do like the fact there's lots of details. Obviously when this game starts getting more stuff in it, if it passes its um, Kickstarter, there'll be a lot more to do. Right now it feels a little bit like well, remember when Jurassic World, the game came out and all you could do is watch the animals move about and you didn't really do anything? It feels like that. Only a lot more indie on a budget. Go hunt that deer down. I kept on both hunting it. Because it said it made that in a comment before about how there's only one of it, so it shouldn't hunt anything else. So I'm wondering if a pack will actually hunt, or it's just going to do the same attacks. No. That wasn't really pack hunting, that was just two attacking at the same time. Okay. Interesting, I'll give it that. It's definitely trying something unique. Whether it works will definitely be a test. Because right now, this is just a, this is a tech demo. For those who are wondering just between a demo and a tech demo, the difference, um... A demo gives you a slice of gameplay. Usually. Like, it'll teach you how to do things. Like, the tutorial was technically a, um... A, te a demo, I guess? But this feels more like a tech demo, because it has basic working but you feel like nearly everything is missing. Like it's showing the technology, it's showing that the animals can work, it's showing that the map exists, it's showing that it spawns in new things, the AI is there, but you don't really do much. Like I'd like to know if a car goes past again. Like we had a car suddenly pop up for the tutorial, do I get another car? I have it on high speed. Does a car go past? An animal has died. It's a shame. Maybe cars are rare bosses. Who knows? Okay, so. On the edge of the map, things still keep popping in by the looks of it. I can't tell if that's true or not. I'm just assuming. This animal is thirsty. Seems to me that you'd need definite, uh, definitely separate drinking areas for your animals. Because the wolves right now are circling the lake. Which doesn't seem good to me. But yeah, I think that's what it is right now. I think I've shown what currently exists. Everything else is just like waiting for them to breed and hoping for better animals. Yet to see a car go past. Anyway, so yeah, this is um, Natural Instincts. Of course, there'll be links in the description downstairs below. The Kickstarter should be active either soon or active now. But either way. I've been the Fallen Shogun, bringing indie games of strategic, tactical and survival varieties to your face holes. It's, um, yeah, it's been one of them. Either way, ciao for now. Be awesome. Be epic. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. Thanks to you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.